First, arson investigators are looking into a fire that killed an elderly couple in southwest Houston. Good evening, everyone. I'm Melinda Spaulding. And I'm Mike Barajas. That fire started just before 5 this morning on West Airport uh, at Sandpiper. 17 families were displaced. This is the same apartment complex where a man was found shot to death yesterday. Now a person of interest is being questioned in his death and the deaths of his fiance and their unborn child. Fox 26 is Sally McDonald is live at the fire scene in Southwest Houston right now. Sally, do investigators believe there's a connection between the fire and the two killings? Oh, Mike, at this point, they have no reason to believe that, but it certainly is strange. Houston Fire Department still on the scene here tonight. They'll compare their notes with the police to see if they can eliminate a connection. What is connected, they believe, are the three murders, one right here in Houston, two others in Missouri City. It was a family who was actually murdered. You just can't think about Leah. It was a family, an unborn child, her, the father. For the second day in a row, neighbors watched Missouri City Police collect evidence at the duplex Leah Jackson shared with her mom. The scene was horrific. I mean, the victim in this case had suffered multiple, multiple knife wounds. Sunday morning, Jackson stumbled to her mother's door for help after someone stabbed her. She was eight and a half months pregnant. Before she and her unborn son died, Jackson told police who attacked her. Police picked him up in no time. To get a person of interest this quickly, it was tremendous. Absolutely tremendous. Without her assistance, uh, we may have taken a while to, to resolve this case. Jackson's fiance was found shot to death several miles away. HPD is questioning the same person of interest in his death. Uh, we know that there's no domestic violence at that location. We know there's no uh, family violence. Narcotics are not involved in this case. So uh, it's, it's a web that we're trying to work through, and we've been able to at least eliminate those, and that includes gang affiliations. I don't know who could have been so distraught and in such character to commit such a heinous crime. Jackson was a popular nurse's aide at E.A. Jones Elementary School and excited about becoming a mother. And police tell me they will pursue capital murder charges once they make an arrest. Right now they're waiting for results from the crime lab so they can officially link the three murders. We are live in southwest Houston. I'm Sally McDonald, Fox 26 News.